The rebuilding of Cypress High School is a complex process. The district and the designers work in a framework that considers various design stages, construction options, and eventually testing the building systems before doors open for students. We are currently in the conceptual programming phase prior to the official architectural design work. During this phase, school administrators, teachers, district planners, and community members collaborate with contracted architects to ensure the new school addresses the academic needs of students now and in the decades to come. This involves taking the five guiding principles of 21st century education and crafting general ideas as to how they will look at the new school. These principles are centered on flexibility, flexibility of building design to ensure we don't limit future learning opportunities, flexibility of schedule to allow more collaboration spaces for teachers and students. In the not too distant future, flexibility and schedule will also allow for students to attend classes or go to labs in the early mornings or evenings. We strive to create opportunities and options to fit the sometimes hectic lives of our students. Flexibility of delivery of education, meaning the building allows teachers and students to work together beyond the typical classroom layout, and that new educational technologies and learning styles are incorporated into the design. Flexibility of socialization so students and staff feel comfortable in the new building. And flexibility of community to ensure the building is optimal beyond academic purposes. The main ideas discussed in this phase are all related to spatial relationships, which is a technical way of describing how rooms, open areas, and other spaces will fit together. For example, if we imagine the main entry, the discussion is about how each piece will work together in harmony. Using the guiding design principles and imperatives, planners can map out learning spaces. In a 21st century school, it's essential for students and teachers to have lots of room for collaboration. So, in mapping out spaces for academics, we can get an idea of how that will play out in the new building, with classroom pods attached to a main collaboration area, plus easy access to labs. These areas are attached to faculty planning areas and maker spaces. What really stands out to me is the opportunity for me as a principal to be able to be flexible with what classrooms will offer for students that we can adjust and adapt to, to various learning styles, to various teaching styles, to incorporate technology, and most importantly, to incorporate things that we probably aren't even aware of yet, that this building will allow rooms to adapt. In addition, I'm really excited about what the new building can offer in terms of collaboration. Cypress High School and all of our schools are really about teacher collaboration and working together to ensure student success. And I think having a building that provides the ability for teachers to meet more frequently and in a setting that is comfortable and allows them to collaborate um, in ways that we haven't done before, I think that will really enhance and increase student learning. Finally, we have a general idea of where the buildings, playing fields, stadium, parking areas, and other structures will be located on the campus. These placements will evolve during the architectural design phase. Thank you for your continued support of Cypress High School. We are so pleased to work with you as we usher in this new era of our proud history.